Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you don't mind the attire. I Today was my hair wash day and my self tan day and unfortunately, um, that's just what I'm working with. <laughs> Diffused my hair but I threw it up in this clip when I was self tanning and I was like, mm, it's kind of nice having it up and I feel like it doesn't look terrible. At least the bangs part, you know, like the bangs are banging. So I figured today we could go through a, a lot of things. I'm talking a lot. This is going to be like multiple parts. You're going to be seeing a lot of new makeup and videos because first of all, well, we'll get to that later. Let me just, let me, let me calm down because I have so much to say. I've just been in short form content and when you're in short form content, it's like every single day you're just like da 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 da, -da and you just... Don't make time for what matters, you know, and this matters to me, okay? I apologize. I know I talk about it all the time. Every time I come on here, I'm apologizing, but truly, this is my happy spot. And it's just like short form, man. It's taking over everything. One thing short form can't handle is my shopping addiction, and we're going to talk about all of these products that I've had coming in. Sometimes I'll do like little videos here and there on Instagram, TikTok, and stuff, but truly like the girlies need a full face of just new products and talking about things, so we're going to kind of just dive in. I've got a lot of things that are brand spanking new, things that I've tried. I'll kind of let you know what I think about them. Lots of things I don't think I've even talked about on YouTube. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to try a little bit, tell you a little bit, you know, some things I've had for a while, some things I haven't. That's what today's video is going to be on. I hope you guys enjoy it. And let's go ahead and dive on into this video. <laughs> I diffused my hair and waved it. I swear it looked better. Literally, my hair was in the clip and it looked cute. And I was like, maybe I should take it down. I took it down and I was like, maybe I should put it back up. And now I'm like, it looks so much better the first time. I have my big rosy day shirt on with all the holes because I can't get rid of it, okay? I can't. It's my favorite shirt. The shirt is broken in and I just refuse to let it go. It's not going anywhere, so it's just gonna have to stay here. But we're just talking, chit chat, and hanging out. That's what these videos are. That's why they're long form, and that's why I love them. So I'm just feeling like a whole new woman on here today, and I'm like, I gotta get back to it. I feel like a updated kind of favorites video for you guys. I just had so much new stuff that I've been trying, and I really wanted to kind of just dive into it. So maybe we'll get a favorites video next month because I have a few empties that I would like to share with you. Maybe I could just use up a few more things. The Airbrush Vanish Primer, I did use up one whole other thing of that, and I just love it. I got the jumbo size, which probably wasn't the best for traveling, but I did travel with it over last weekend, and it wasn't bad at all, because it's not a glass bottle, it's more of just a tube. But if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen a few of these products, and I've done like first impressions. I've, I've also been doing like wear tests on Instagram and TikTok. They're not as detailed as the YouTube videos, but they're still there for you if you want something quick, to the point, and you can see how it lasts throughout the day. So be sure you follow me on those platforms too, because they're there, you know, they are there. So we have so much good stuff. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to take a picture of this right now and show you because it is insane. Sorry, I have my Octo Buddy on my um, little thing, but this is like insane. I hope you guys have been having a great year so far. Can you believe it's June? First of all, I can't believe it's June because it doesn't feel like June. June is what I like to think of summer and summer is not here in Washington, but it's supposed to be coming the end of this week. So if you don't follow me on my other social platforms, definitely do because I'm on there usually every week, every day. Yeah, I just still wanted to extend my hope you're doing wells in this video because I do hope you're doing well. And it's just been a while since I've talked to my YouTube fam and I know some people are only on YouTube and I hope you're doing well. How many times can I say it? I'm just trying to relay it. Okay, so many foundation um, products and face products. I actually just purchased, it went live today, the new e.l.f. Uh, foundation. I'm going to link it below for you guys if you're interested. It sounds incredible. It's supposed to be a satin finish, buildable coverage, like beautiful. And I've seen the before and afters. I'll put like a little before and after here. That was one of my favorites. And I was like, wow, yeah, I'm definitely trying that. So that is coming soon. There's also another foundation I cannot share with you just yet, but it's really good. I got the chance to try it first and I love it, but I can't show you now. Let's talk about the things I can show you. First off, let's go in order of like did not like going to really did like. So 
First off, I tried this All May Clear Complexion Makeup. I did not love this. It's just too dewy on my skin. It didn't last very well. It was, I was not a fan. Um, it just, I think my skin type, it wasn't going to work out for me. So I'm going to pass on this one. I'm going to try to keep this short and sweet. So hopefully that's okay with you guys. And then this isn't a foundation, but it is a tinted SPF. I also love the It Cosmetics tinted SPFs. Like I, I think they're incredible. They give really great coverage. If you've never tried them and you have things you want to cover, like it's incredible. This is the bare minimum for, um, sorry, I self-tanned today too, so that's going to look really bad, isn't it? <laughs> Here's the thing. When I think of a tint, I do think of some color, but I think of like a little bit of coverage. This kind of tint for me does not work because it just enhances my redness and it kind of just makes everything look off. It just, it doesn't work for my skin. Sure, it's probably a really good product, but I don't love it on its own. I need more coverage. This is not a hit for me. I wasn't a big fan, but I love Super Goop as a line. Not the glow screen for your face, the glow screen for your body, insane. Literally, your legs and chest will be gleaming, and it's SPF, so it's beautiful. But this protectant, not a big fan of, just didn't love it. My in-between product that I'm trying, but I think this is going to be more of a fall winter foundation because it's just too dewy for me. It's a beautiful product. I did a wear test on this on the shorter platforms, but it's the Fenty Beauty Her New Soft Lit Naturally Luminous Longwear Foundation. It does last really well, but if you have oily skin and now that we're going into summer and you sweat, I'm a face sweater. I sweat everything. <laughs> Bit. This is probably not for you. It's just very, very glowy. I, but like I said, I did like it. I just think it's gonna be more of a cooler month type of product, and it's just not gonna work for me for summer. But if you're interested, it does have great coverage. It is very luminous and easy to work with. So let's move to uh, the one I've been using constantly, and also this is such a beautiful one to travel with. I think I'm gonna apply this one today. This is the Urban Decay Face Bond. I have medium neutral and light neutral. I tend to mix the two depending on what my self tan is looking like. For my self tan, I do have a color guard, so it's probably not gonna match perfectly, but I have self tan. You know, I self tan before this video, but you'll still get to see the coverage and everything. I love these so much. I love the packaging. I love the formula. I think it lasts really well. Now. The thing about this self-setting, I don't not set my face. I always set it, right? So it's supposed to be like sweat resistant, all the things. This is sweat resistant to a point. If you are touching your face and you're blotting makeup off of your face, it's gonna come off. It's come off during my T-zone, like in those little patches, you know what I mean? Like if I'm working out at the gym and I'm taking my shirt and I'm pressing it up against my skin to get my sweat off, it's gonna come off. If you don't touch your face, I know this is crazy, if you don't touch your face and you're sweating, it stays on better. I don't know, I don't know. Uh, I, it's a hard one for me because I touch my face whenever I'm sweating, I like to get sweat off. But I did notice that when I didn't touch my face when it was sweating, and I'm talking like hardcore workouts, um, it did stay on. I think it's dependent on what you're blotting with and taking the sweat off with because like you know those pool paper towels that you can use and just blot your face or like wipe your hands with I <laughs> I removed some sweat with that and I just went and blotted my face and it <laughs> took it right off so I think it just depends on what you're using like the actual texture of the sweat remover you're using like your t-shirt or paper towel or tissue self-setting like I just am not that that girl I'm setting it and that's just the end of that. I haven't even tried it. I haven't even tried the self-setting part because I just said it. Because that's just who I am. And I'm not going to not be who I am. And then the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Foundation. I do really like this. My biggest gripe with this is I can never get my shade right. I can never get my shade right. It's always such a struggle for me. But this is full coverage. It says full coverage. It is full coverage. Um, it says apply with a wet beauty sponge or synthetic makeup brush. I prefer synthetic makeup brush. I do not, I don't know what it is about beauty blenders lately or just sponges in general. Like you guys know, I kind of go through waves of like what I like to apply with brush. Is it for me right now? Like, I don't know what it is about sponges, but it's just not cutting it. I do really like this. You have to be careful with it though, because it can look heavy if you're not careful, but it is full coverage. It's cute. It lasts all day. I do really like it. Now we're gonna get in and we're gonna go ahead and apply this baby. So I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Face Bond today and I'm gonna just use one of my favorite brushes, It Cosmetics Airbrush Foundation Brush. I love it, I'm sorry, it's a little bit dirty. Actually, I could go in with this one. The Heavenly Luxe Brush, I might do that because 
I've got to wash my brushes. I am just a hot mess, honestly. Since I only have a color guard on, I'm just going to go in with medium neutral today. And I'll do like a little side by side for you. Like I said, I really like this foundation. I definitely feel like it lasts throughout the day. I did a full wear test on this product as well. And I think it got a good bit of views on TikTok too. People were enjoying it because I did it right when it came out. Um, my favorite way to apply foundations is just to press into the skin and then kind of buff it out. You'll kind of feel on your skin and with your brush, like when things are pretty much blended. But that's just my preferred method of applying foundation. And I definitely feel like once you go in with concealer, bronzer, all of that, it all just melts together. This foundation does not move when you put product on top of it, which is a must have for me. And I just have been really, really enjoying it. I don't ever really take foundation underneath my eyes. I feel like it's pointless because I'm going to be going in with concealer. So I just like to try to stay away from that. But Great coverage. Again, it is more on the matte side. If you are oily, I think you'll like it. If you're combo, I think you'll like it. If you're more normal to dry, it might be too drying for you. Let's try something new. The Makeup by Mario. I saw this. I grabbed this yesterday. It is the, um, sorry, I held it upside down. It is the Soft Sculpt Bronzing and Shaping Serum. I have been so interested in this, and I'm going to have to watch like a quick video. Hopefully, Mario has something popping over here. Okay, so the way this person applied it is just basically in the areas where the sun would hit you. I need to seriously get in my hairline here. Hold on, please. Just do that. It has a pump and also a doe foot. There's a few colors. I got the shade medium dark, which in store looked right, but now that I'm here, it's probably too dark. So that's just, you know, that's just how the cookie crumbles, you know? I guess we're doing more of a contour situation. But it is more sheer, so it should be kind of easier to work with. I would think, and I'm going to use my Dibs Beauty Duo brush because I really, really like it, and it just works really well for me, so I'm going to take a nice clean one, and I'm just going to stipple this in. Whoa! That's nice. It definitely is a sheer product. It's kind of cooling as well, but it's just supposed, it's supposed to just bronze up the face or you can like mix it with your foundation, I believe, like whatever you want to do. Let's see. It says nothing. It says nothing on the box. It warms the complexion with a sun-kissed glow and softly shapes targeted areas with a sheer natural second skin finish. Use the pump for all over warmth and the wand for targeted. Soft sculpt effect. It hydrates and nourishes with hyaluronic acid and vitamin E while leaving a healthy looking soft blurred effect. Use on bare skin or over foundation. So very cool. Okay. I definitely think it worked. Am I obsessed right off the bat? Probably not. I'm going to take this back to my ear. My goodness. Oh, I just cannot get that in my hair. I just washed my hair. I can't tell if it's kind of moving my foundation on my forehead. It seems like it may be, but maybe that's just like the actual drops of it. That cooling sensation is feels really good, actually. It does have like a sheen to it that I don't know with my textured skin if I love because I feel like it's enhancing. I feel like that just like highlighted those areas. So... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm not obsessed with it right off the bat. Something about it with my forehead just isn't working for me. So I'll continue to try and see what I think. But I'm probably not going to use it all the time. I'm, I'm just going to be real. I think it might be one of those things where I just use it every once in a while. If that. I'm not obsessed with it. That's okay. Now I'm actually going to go in with this Merit um, cream bronzer because I used this in a lighter shade and I liked it, but I needed just a little bit more. This is in Leo and it's just their, what's this called? This is their bronze balm and it's very creamy and easy to work with. You could literally just color this on. I'm going to show you real quick. I'm going to go over where we just did that makeup by Mario. I love when products are like this because it's not very often that I take a stick product and I just apply it to my face anymore because a lot of the time products will move my foundation, but this product is really, really easy to work with and it doesn't move your makeup. It just blends really effortlessly. So I'm just going to, we're just going to be very bronze today. So that's where we're going with this one. And I promise everything will come together with concealer. It's probably looking a little muddy right now. It always comes together, you 
gotta trust the process, right? If I had to pick between the two, Makeup My Mario and this Merit one, I would pick the Merit one. I am gonna try this Dewy Plump from Gwen Stefani's line. I, I never know how to say it. But this is the shade Peony. I don't remember what I think of this product, so I'm just gonna apply it and see because it's been a minute since I've tried it. So we'll just kind of try it together. I do not like the way that Makeup by Mario made my texture look here. I don't like it because I'm, I'm seeing it now and it's going to drive me crazy. I'll have to probably drag my concealer down just a little bit to really help with that. Okay, that's pretty. It's a really pretty blush. It's definitely one of those colors that might be intimidating, but it's, it's easy to work with because that's a few dots. No, I don't like the way that the Makeup by Mario made my pores look. Now I'm going to try the Slip Tint Radiant All Over Concealer. This is probably not the concealer to try right now, Radiant, but I'm going to give it a go. Oh my gosh, you guys. Also, the new Lawless blushes. These are beautiful. This one's in Cherry Pie. I've been using it a lot. Let me just show you a quick little moment. This is so easy to work with, and it is beautiful on the skin. The texture is great. If you have textured skin, it's not going to like enhance your pores or anything. It's not a dewy product so it just works really well if you have oily skin i'm obsessed with this it is so so good let's try this concealer and if i had to pick i would pick the lawless over the gwen stefani one just my opinion that's my opinion all right this is the say concealer i've tried a lot of concealers this past month and i haven't been impressed with a lot of them i've just went back to my tower 28 concealer because it just works so well for me and it doesn't like enhance all my texture and stuff all right, so this one's in the shade 7. I'm just going to apply this with my foundation brush. This is what I normally do. We're going to press, press, press. Kind of drag it down a little bit. Ooh, it actually has really good coverage so far. It has a thicker texture. That is nice. Okay, out of all the concealers I have tried the past couple months, that one just brightened us up and looks really nice it's not too it says luminous but it's not like the tart shape tape luminous you know what i mean i've tried the estee lauder soft touch brightening concealer i've tried the charlotte tilbury beautiful skin radiant concealer i've tried the born this way ethereal light concealer i've also tried the Ilia concealer this one's the true serum concealer not a big fan. I don't know what the deal is. I do like coverage when it comes to my concealers because I just like for it to really open up my eyes. Um, but this Say one is probably the first one I've tried in a minute that actually looks decent. So, love that. Go Say. I've actually been loving a few different things from them, like lip gloss and stuff. I'm still trying this out from them. It's their Dew Bronze, but I got caught up on the Merit one. I've been really liking that, so I've kind of put that on the back burner. But Say has a lot of products out right now. They also have like a, a gel highlighting product. I saw it the other day in Sephora. I didn't grab it because I figured they send me PR sometimes and I think they sent me that. So I need to look in my what's new drawer. But I put it on my hand and it was so pretty. And it was like a gel consistency. Yeah. All right. 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 This little glowy super gel. Dewy illuminating fluid. So... I would probably put this on my body, honestly. It is so nice. That's the consistency. Rub it in. So it is like a gel. So it's going to be kind of, oh my gosh, it's going to be kind of like wet at first. But look, how pretty is that? And it dries down. I was looking at my freaking hand the entire time I was in Sephora because I put this all over my hand. It is so glowy. This on like your chest and shoulders, it's not a shimmer. It's just a beautiful, glowy gel consistency. This literally dries down and it's so pretty. Like, look at the difference. You got one that's alive, the other is toasted and roasted. I set with a new powder from One Size. I haven't used One Size powders in a minute. I don't think I loved the One Size powders the first time I tried it, but I want to give it another try because this is a new one. This is an ultra peach. I do like a peachy tone. Let's go ahead. I'm sorry, I always take these off because I just <laughs> I like a messy loose powder it's just how I am I'm gonna use my beauty blender puff and hopefully this just kind of smooths this out a little bit 
I love my Givenchy Prism Libre powders. Those are so beautiful. But I'm always looking to try new ones for sure. Ooh. That definitely made us matte. My skin is going through it right now, you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay. Like, what is that? Is that a blemish? Yeah, that's really nice. I do feel like, I do feel like it might be a little much for me. Okay, this is the Givenchy Prism Libre Powder. This one's in the shade one, so it's a little bit lighter, but I wanna see texture-wise what it looks like for me. I just wanna see if there's a difference with the way I'm seeing some things on my pores. Okay, let's see. Yeah. I like the Givenchy ones more. There's something happening with my pores and the peach powder, but the Givenchy one is just a little bit more smooth and that's just what I prefer. So I'm gonna go with the Givenchy one. I do like a lot of one size products, but I think this one, I've tried it before and I didn't love it. There's something about it, like the texture of it is not as like, do I wanna say finely milled? I don't know, something's different about it between this one and the Givenchy one. So not my ultimate favorite. It's not bad, but I prefer the Givenchy one. Bronzer, I did grab the new YSL All Hours Hyper Bronze. This one's gorgeous. This is in the shade four. I feel like this is a very delicate powder, so just be careful. Like mine's kind of cracking there for some reason. I don't know why. So just kind of, you know, be wary of that. But this is a gorgeous product. It's very, very pigmented, and it'll give you a great bronze to the skin it's easy to work with it's not like a choppy muddy powder it really just blends so well so I love this one this buttermelt blush I actually have the bronzer too from NYX so I have the buttermelt bronzer and the buttermelt blush I don't love this this is in deserve butter and or dessert yeah deserve butter something about it i just can't get it to blend really well for me i know the ysl one is more expensive but there's other drugstore ones like physicians formula butter bronzer that i would prefer over this one something about it i'm just not in love with but this blush in my butter half this is it she is a beaut she's a beaut and now that i'm looking she might be a dupe a beaut and a dupe love this i'm gonna try the coastest one let's take a look and see if they're dupes but also i grabbed these new tart palettes and one i've used more than the other so this one is the shape tape glow glow blush bar in the rose bar this is the one i haven't used the most it's just a lighter palette but i liked the highlighter this is probably a dumb purchase for me honestly i should have never bought it because i like this one more and i knew i knew i was gonna like this one more this one's very intimidating though i feel like for some people so same thing but this one's in the berry bar look at those blushes you can't even tell how intense they are that's about right right there gorgeous this one insane a gorgeous like bronzer that's glowy like this is the one I just should have stopped and got, but I got the other one because I was like, let me test it out. It's just too light. So this one is perfect. But this blush right here, she's expensive, but she's gorgeous. This is the Cherry Blush by Dior. She's beautiful. Truly, you guys. Blends like a dream. It is gorgeous. It's a good compact size. Like, you can't beat it. It's so nice. But let's go on with the closest one. This one's in Butterflies. I've been so interested to try these. There's a lot of colors. I just got this one because I love the brighter pinks right now. And that's just what I feel like using. Oh, no. She's a beaut. Just don't highlight my imperfections, please. I would really appreciate that. Ooh. That's actually a really gorgeous, like, ah, I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy now. That's a gorgeous, like, blue tone baby pink. Wow. Wow. That is gorgeous. Put the butter blush on. Now, these are very pigmented. And put that on. I'm just going to kind of stipple it on a little bit. Wait. I got me a dupe. I'm sorry. Those look incredibly similar. Yep. I'm going to save that for my dupe video. There you have it. <laughs> That's a really great alternative. Okay. The Kosas one is beautiful. Love the packaging. It's a little bit bulkier. Um, but the NYX Butter Blush in my butter half 
is a dupe. Let's do highlighter. I actually got uh, the new Fenty Beauty highlighter. This one's in Pretty Pearls in 01. This is gorgeous. I do want to try another one today that I grabbed. This is actually Makeup Revolution's Emily in Paris collab situation. It's the color nothing. It just is the highlighter. <laughs> There's nothing on it. It kind of has this ombre effect. I did run my finger through it because I wanted to just see, you know, if it had a color payoff. Let's see if this is pretty or a pretty fail. Whoa. Okay. Now, when I swatched this the other day, I did not get this kind of payoff, but I was in my kitchen. Oh, I should not have taken that over my breakout, but I did. You know, I do those things. Because that is a pretty intense highlighter. Yeah, that's nice. I like her. I'm gonna do my quick Urban Decay brow blade eyebrow pencil. I'm gonna come back and then we're gonna finish off this look because I've been talking your ear off for like an hour now. Okay, brows are on. I just noticed how intense my highlighter was, so now I'm like trying to blend everything out, make sure we're um, in business here. Okay, let's take my eyelash curler, Shiseido eyelash curler. We're gonna curl these lashes because I always like to curl them to give them a fair shot when I'm trying a new mascara because we're gonna try a new one today. This is actually recommended. I posted a video the other day about the new Maybelline mascara and trying it out. I didn't love, I mean I liked it but I didn't love it. You know what I mean? So somebody recommended this mascara and I'm actually very excited to try. So I'm gonna line my upper waterline with this Kylie Cosmetics matte black pencil eyeliner and then the mascara was the Stila huge extreme lash mascara I actually got two because there's the huge extreme mascara and then the Magnum XXX mascara so but this is the one she recommended so this is the one I'm gonna try now if I don't like it I'm just picky with mascara that's all and sometimes with mascaras too like I mentioned it with the Maybelline one but sometimes you have to use them a few times to really figure out if you like them or not but I am an instant gratification type of person. Like I like to know right then and there if I like it. Okay, very nice. I feel like maybe with a few more uses, kind of like that Maybelline one, it'll make my lashes a little bit thicker, but here's your little before and after. Now I'm gonna actually try this one on the other eye, the Magnum XXX Mascara from Stila. That's a big old brush right there. Okay, wait a minute. That looks like it's giving some volume right there. This kind of reminds me of the Bite Beauty Mascara. You guys know how I feel about that mascara, and I'm so sad it is discontinued and gone. So far, this is my favorite. I think it definitely gives more volume than this one. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but I really like this one. This one is probably the one. Let me see if I can just, you know. I like this one. I'm going to clean my lid in just a minute, but let's do a little lip. Nothing crazy happening with lips. I've tried a couple new things. I've tried the Say Glossy Bounce and dip so pretty i also really like this tart vinyl lip vinyl um this one's in the shade sheer lotus it's really pretty lip products are not difficult for me like i like a lot of lip products if you watch any of my what's in my bag videos like on the tiktok and instagram it's like 20 lip glosses get in my bag somehow and i don't know how it happens i'm just gonna go ahead and just do what i normally do with these kind of products i'm gonna take a lip liner this one's makeup forever in full scale rust there hasn't i mean there's it's hard for me to be like this is the best lip gloss in the world because there's so many good lip glosses like i love the maybelline ones which of course i don't have any up here they're all downstairs i know this is so obvious because everybody loves this but I do love the summer Fridays lip butter bombs I like the lighter colors this one's really pretty for like fall but I love these so much they're really nice and moisturizing and they don't break me out around my lips which is great I'm gonna go in with this um, NARS walk this way power lip pigment I really like this one it's a say kind of video let's go in with say I'm gonna use the color dip very comfortable if I'm gonna be so for real with you I've said this before but High-end lip glosses and stuff are kind of just irrelevant. High-end lip products are just like, ugh, another lip product. Minus the liquid lip. It's hard to find good ones in the drugstore. It's hard to find good ones high-end. So when you find a good liquid lip that doesn't make your lips look like they're drier than the desert, you know, it, that is like one of the best. So the NARS ones and the Huda Beauty liquid mattes. Um, I love the Makeup Forever lip liners. Like those are some of my favorite products. But when it comes to lip gloss, I mean, you can get that at the drugstore. But this one's really good. I do like it. They sent it to me, and I love it. But, you know, it's not always a necessity. So I'm going to take a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury powder just to kind of make me look a little bit brighter here where I don't look so bright right now. The Charlotte Tilbury airbrush powder is 
truly my favorite little cutie patootie. This powder is worth every single freaking penny. So that's the video. I know this was long. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had fun doing it. Obviously, we have some hits and misses in here. I'm going to really round that up too probably next month in that video, like a favorites video or in a few weeks or something just because I have so much makeup to kind of get through and show you guys. Not bad so far. I think the thing that like was the most like, oh, I don't love it is this new makeup by Mario product. I think it just has a sheen to it that I can't really, I, I don't think it's going to be flattering for my skin. I have textured skin. I have very large pores, oils, and like, you know, I got to be careful about that kind of stuff, especially when I'm doing bronzer kind of like on my cheeks. And I just don't think this one's going to be a hit for me. But the Merit one was really great. Like I mentioned, it's so good. I hope this video was fun to just talk and catch up and talk makeup and just BS around, you know, just talk about things. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.